Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be painting this dog eye. It's a really nice rusty sort of golden color. Really fun to paint. So let's jump in. Do you dream of painting realistic wildlife but you just you don't know where to begin? Then consider this your personal invitation into the Wildlife Painting Academy. Get access to a large library of real-time, in-depth tutorials, and learn how to paint your favorite animals easily. Check it out in the link of the description of this video. So I'm going to start off by sort of mapping out where the darkest areas of the painting are going to be. And using a relatively large brush at this point, um, not worrying about any details quite yet. So you can see here, I'm going in with a dark brown to add some shadows to that eye. Now the iris itself is a really beautiful golden color, so I'm going to start by applying some golden paint to the white part of the iris so far to give it that nice light, um, sort of like illuminated effect. And now I'm going in and kind of blending in the lighter part of the iris with the pupil to make sure things look nice and natural. Now it's time to get started on your fur. So I'm going to start by using a pretty dark brown to kind of map out where those darkest areas are going to go and then we are going to build up some fur texture in detail with some lighter brown paint in a little bit. Now I'm going to start to block in the lighter portions of the fur. So as you can see here, I added a little bit more white to my paint. It's a lot lighter than the darker tone I was using before. And again, working with a large brush just to make sure that you're covering more area. So now I'm going to go and start to build up a little bit of fur texture. I'm working with oils here, so I'm working wet into wet, but basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking a lighter color and starting to stroke in some of those individual hairs to build up that texture. Now I'm going to build up some finer fur texture here using a much smaller brush and using fine brush strokes to make sure that I'm matching the fur length. Work your way around the painting with those fine brushes, adding more fur texture and detail where you see fit. And if your brush strokes are looking a little too crazy, grab a dry brush and very lightly blend them to soften them out. So now is the fun part. We're gonna do some glazing. You wanna make sure that your painting underneath is completely dry first, and then I'm applying sort of a rusty colored glaze to really bring up that saturation in that fur, as you can see here. I'm also going to use some of that rusty colored glaze on the iris itself to really make it pop. And I'm going in with a fine brush again, adding even more fur detail. 
Make sure you're paying close attention to reference photos here. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using reference photos. In fact, it's highly encouraged, especially if you want to paint realistic animals. And now I'm going in and adding the final touches. Got to add those highlights to the eye and it's really, really going to make it pop. And we're done. I had taped my pa paper down to um, a board with some masking tape, so if you did as well, now you get the satisfying task of peeling off that tape, revealing those gorgeously crisp uh, lines. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to paint this dog's eye. Now, if you're interested in every single step-by-step -step, complete with my voice walking you through every minute of this painting with paint mixing, glaze mixing, all that stuff, then consider this your personal invitation into the Wildlife Painting Academy. There's a link in the description of this video. All right, thanks for watching.